Hey y'all, how are you doing? Welcome back to Sippin' and Sewin'. So, um, today we're gonna be doing the old Sam Adams. Um, this is a longer, so we're keeping it simple. Um, we, our first video, if you remember, was Stella Artois, also a logger. This is going to be a little bit more multi, um, if I can remember. It's been a while since I've had a Sam Adams. Um, anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and drink this today, and we're going to learn how to sew on buttons. Simple. I think it's simple. Everybody should know how to sew on buttons. Okay, so before any sewing starts, we always have to have our drink first, right? So let's go ahead and open this. Um, as you remember, you're gonna need a bottle opener. Only only for like the easy ones, you don't need one. Like Coors, Budweiser, that type of stuff. Anheuser Busch. And don't forget, especially because it's a lager, it's gonna be bubbly, so you wanna turn your glass. Um, as you can see, there's head, not a super amount of head, and it is actually a little bit more brown in color than like our Stella. So get a good little bit of white on there. You can see it is a it is a Vienna lager. So um, usually Vienna lagers are categorized with a little bit of a little bit more um, maltiness, maybe more toastiness. Let's try it. Hmm. It's good. It's smooth. It's really easy drinking. Not a lot of um, bitterness hops in there. Um, very carbonated. You can see the bubbles kind of moving up in there. Super carbonated, which is good. Usually lagers. And remember that lagers are um, bottom fermented. The yeast, that they, the lager yeast needs a colder temperature to ferment. So um, remember that with lagers. So, and also, also lagers you always want cold. You always want to drink them fresh, so don't wait too long, hold off on your beers for a long time because you want them fresh. So this is yum yum. Oh, it's kind of dangerous. Very light flavor, a little tiny bits of caramel. Um, no real bitter bite to it. Um, yeah, but different than like a... Not skunky like this, Stella. Um, yeah, yum yum. Let's get some sewing done. So if y'all don't have one of these little things, you can pick up anywhere at the market, even. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use gray today since we're doing a gray. My friend um, wanted me to sew some buttons on his suit coat for him. So like we talked about before, pull the thread out about arm's length and then cut it. You can use wax to even out the end of the thread. I just use my mouth. It's probably not sanitary. And then stick one end through the loophole on the side of the needle. Okay, so you remember how to tie a knot, right? So the needle's pointing this way to, to my right. The back end I have in my fingers. So you're going to bring the thread. I have it on my side, okay? And bring the bottom of the thread up all the way around. So you go around three or four times, pinch it with the end of the thread, and pull it all the way down to the end. And you got your knot. Voila. Do your stop. Mm. Not enough head on this, I feel like. It's not like super, super fresh, um, springy type of lager. It's more of like a easy, breezy... Definitely a multi locker. So those of you that don't like hops at all, that's the way to go. As you can see, it's missing the top button. So this is super easy to fix. I'm gonna start with the inside. There's always gonna be a little hole, a little area that shows you where the button used to be. So just find that. Here you can see it's right here. Stick your needle in, see, come to the right side, pull it up. Since it has a knot, it's going to stay, all right? Then, you're going to grab your button and just go through one of the holes, do that. 
I usually like to go on the diagonal, so if you can see, I'm going to go straight across and right down to the button. Pull your thread all the way through, and you're going to go right back through the fabric close to where you came in. So poke the needle close by and pull that all the way through, as tight as you can. doesn't matter what it looks like on the inside, because that's the inside. You're going to do the same thing. Go right back in close to the holes you already have. Pull it all the way through. Go into the next hole that doesn't have thread yet. You're going to go across the thread you just made into the next, pull the thread all the way through, and do the same thing right back down next to those two holes you've already gone through. So if you see, you have a little cross stitch right there. So you want to do that a few more times for each side so that you get a nice strong hold on your button. Once you get good, you can just go from poking it down into the hole straight down. Or you can go straight from the fabric right through the buttonhole. Now this time, don't go all the way down. So see if you can see the thread is in between the, sh the coat and the button. This is the most important part. If, I guess not the most important part, but this is an important part. So you want to create a little bit of space. So you're just going to take this and wrap it around so you can create a little bit of space. Just so the button's not sitting flush right on the fabric. So if you can see, you have a little bit of space there. Then, pull it back through. And then to tie the knot, if you remember, just pick up a little bit of fabric with the, with the needle. Pull. And before it goes, that little loop goes all the way through. I'm just going to put the needle through the loop. Pull it. See? I like to do that at least twice. Sometimes you want to hold on to the thread because it will get, see how it got like all wonky. So then. And then here you go. Button sewed on. Literally took like one minute, two minutes. You can do it. That deserves beer. Now, I didn't get off that easy, so he wanted me to do two coat buttons. This one, if you can see, it's a little hard to see, it's super dangly, right? I'm sure some of you have had that before. So, this is going to fall off at any moment. So, rather than that happen, let's cut it off and let's make a new one. Um, so, that's really easy to do. Just hold and cut. So you're going to separate this, get all the threads off of there. But you're going to have all, see all these threads. Pull all the threads from the back side, cut them if they're too tight, but make sure not to cut the fabric. And drink your beer. Now, this is easy because you can very much still see where the hole is. Sometimes your buttons only have two holes, which is fine. Sometimes they have a the little hook on the bottom, which is fine. You just do the same thing, going in and out, in and out, in and out. So now here I am. Wait, I gotta take a drink. Mmm. Spilling my beer. Am I wasted already? From one 5% Vienna lager? <laughs> Voila, button, beer. Thank you, Sam Adams. Been around long time. 30 years, I think? I have to check that out. Okay. 
Enjoy. Sew your buttons. Drink your beer. Good luck. Until next time. This is Melissa, signing out.